Well, I'm sure you guys have guessed already what we are doing today. So we got a bunch of wood in the shop. This is a bunch of old two by six, like actual two by six that measures two by six, not inch and a half by five and a half like they are now today. These are really old boards that were on my property when I bought it. So I took the fence down and I have been saving these for something. So I figured it would be really cool to build the floor for my bed in the truck out of this wood. So we're gonna get to work on this now. I don't need it a full two inches thick, obviously. That's a little too overkill. That's just gonna add a lot of weight to the back. So what I'm gonna try to do is resaw these things down to a one by six on my table saw. Now, this is might be a little bit sketchy. I know a lot of people do the resawing on a bandsaw. I'm gonna try it on a table saw because that's all I have. I don't have a bandsaw. Hopefully this goes smooth. I'm just gonna do like a half inch at a time, run them through over and over again until we get them in half. Luckily, I think we'll only need about five boards to cut in half. That'll give us 10 total boards at six inches wide. That'll give us five feet. So this bed can't be over five feet wide. So I think five boards should be enough to get us where we need to go. So that's what we gotta do. First things first, I'm gonna cut these down close to length and then we're gonna try to resaw them and see how that goes. So let's get after it. Let's see how cool we can make this old lumber look in the floor of this bed. Look at that guys, we got all these boards resawed down and they're about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch thick. So that's about perfect. I didn't want to put too much weight back here. So these are actually looking really sweet. I was going to use this side, but now looking at this cut side, that looks so much better. I think I'm just gonna use this side up. I think that's gonna look really good. But one thing we gotta do real quick, originally I was gonna have it kind of flush with the back of the tailgate. That kind of looks funky and you can't really get to the hint where the tailgate bolts on the hinges right there. So I'm gonna trim all these boards down to this edge right here. And then I'm gonna cut grooves on the edge to, to, for a little tongue and groove action, just to get rid of these gaps you can see, cause they're not, these are old boards. They're not perfectly straight. There's a little bit of gap here and there, but honestly not that bad. Am I that worried about it? No, just because I kind of want it rustic looking with the rest of this truck. So I'm not gonna go hardcore trying to make this thing super, super nice. I just kind of want it to match the theme of this truck.
Well, there we go, wood is done. This stuff turned out freaking amazing. I absolutely love how it turned out. So you guys saw the process. I went through and I burned it with a weed burner. That worked really good. I was gonna try the torch, but the torch was gonna take way too long. So weed burner it was, we burnt it, and then we did the boiled linseed oil. I did two coats of that, and this stuff turned out really good. I absolutely love the look of that burnt wood it looks so good so i'm gonna give this probably a day maybe even longer than a day to kind of cure up before we bolt it into the truck so we'll get back out here once the stuff's cured up dried up enough we'll throw it together and see how it looks all said and done
Well, there we go, guys. We got the bed done. We got the tailgate done. Now I had to make new latches because these were missing and they are literally impossible to find used. Obviously you can't buy them new anymore, so I had to make those. And they were a little bit tricky just because it's so tight inside of that little jam, just to get enough of like a hook onto that little latch and to have actually clear to open and close the tailgate. A little bit of a trick, but we got it figured out. We got the roll pan on. Now I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask where that roll pan is from. That was already on the truck when I bought it. I have no idea what it's actually for. I don't, it's not for this truck because it really doesn't fit that great. I had to notch it out for the hinges and kind of cut the top off a little bit and it wasn't sitting flush at all. It was like an inch off. So it's not for this truck. I have no idea what it's from, but it does look a lot better than big rusted holes in the back. So kind of cover that up, looks a little bit better that way but most importantly the bed the wood in this bed turned out absolutely perfect i love it i love the burnt look the linseed oil is going to help i did two coats of that that's going to help protect it now i did two coats on top and the bottom side i wanted to protect the bottom side too because obviously this stuff isn't sealed there's going to be water getting underneath the wood now we do have a lot of drain holes natural rusty drain holes in this bed so water's not going to sit underneath the wood but I wanted to protect it anyway. Two coats of the linseed oil, I think that's gonna last a long time. Now linseed oils and that type of oils you sometimes do have to reapply. So maybe in the future we'll have to do a reapplication of it, but not a big deal. You just wipe it on and wipe it off. Well, I'm gonna wrap this one up here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like kind of seeing something a little bit different with this bed. I was kind of hemming and hawing about doing the wood. I am very glad I did. It turned out awesome. I love it. It looks so good. Looking at the outside of the truck and then you look into the bed, it's got a beautiful wood floor and then obviously everything else we've done in the truck other than the body. I, I really like how this truck's coming out. It's exactly, exactly what I imagined in my first video when I told you guys what I'm doing. Well, I guess I'm lying. No, I didn't say that. I said I'm not going to go too far. But I did say I'm not painting the outside, and I'm not. Well, that's a wrap, guys. Go smash that thumbs up button. Turn on your notifications, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you guys in the next video.